<laughs> Whoa, Moran. Guess what? We're going to have some fun today. Yeah, we're going to play around with some lightning arresters. And we can get lightning out here today. We could get it tomorrow. You never know when it's going to hit. And it's going to hit in your neighborhood someday. You're going to get one chance. And here at Midnight Solar, we have a lightning arrestor, SPD, that you're going to like. And we're going to hold it up to the competition and see who comes out on top. Here at Midnight Solar's Power Time, we're going to have some fun. I'm Joanne. Some serious fun. And I'm John. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Did you know that most inverters break down and fail around 2,500 to 3,000 volt surge? With near lightning strikes, there can be thousands of volts entering your electronics through the AC and the DC wiring. That's why you want something that's engineered to protect your house and your electronics. That's why here at Midnight, we, we build an SPD that'll do just that for you. Well, while you show them how to test it, I'm okay. going to go get us some coffee. Right. Let's go upstairs. Great. Dunka, dunka, dunka. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> Mario and I checked, tested these things out. These things don't do anything. It took it up to 5,000 and just kept going. Whoa, they, they do nothing. That is not Absolutely safe. Not nothing. safe. What we're going to do is we're going to stick it in the vise here. You can watch me. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to slice this pup open. I'll how show fun. you how we do it. Wait, 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 wait. Let's do this right. <laughs> That's nice. Look at that. Look. So let's, let's take this, this one apart. Let's cut yeah. this off. <laughs> there we go. Bristers. No sand. No sand. We want to make an official for you. So what we did is we asked Robin Gutchell, he's the president of Midnight Solar, if he wouldn't mind taking a road trip down to California, and he took off. Yeah. He went to World Products Testing Lab in Sonoma, California. They got a surge generator down there that meets national and international standards. <laughs> this pup is just like a real lightning strike. So when he gets back, we're going to have the results, and we're going to give them to you. Hi, I'm Robin Gutchell from Midnight. This is Jim Haggerty and Leonard Drews from World Products. We're down here at their facility today in Sonoma, California to do some testing on our surge arresters. Let's take a look at the facility here, Jim. Great. So we, uh, we purchased this surge generator at great expense to, to, to do validation testing for our good customers to, to UL 1449 3rd edition. It's not what we're going to be doing today. We're doing some benchmark testing to help Midnight Solar get a good idea of clamping levels and maximum surge energies that the, that the units can handle. And we're going to have a little more fun because we brought some of our competitors' units to play with, too. Oh, that will be fun. Yeah. We'll see how they hold up. Yeah, being, being a UL lab here, you, you've got to be, everything has to be calibrated. We've got, in essence, um, a two-channel scope here. One's going to be set up to monitor the current level. The other channel is going to be monitoring the clamping voltage. So you, you're surface. starting with 20,000 volts, right? Uh, it's... Uh... Yeah, a little more than that. We'll charge to approximately 22,000 volts. Given the, uh, the internal impedance of that generator, that should give us something that we would expect to see approaching 40,000 amperes of discharge current through the device under test. And, and what unit do we have in there? We have the SPD-115 in there right now. It's our lower voltage made for protecting battery systems and low voltage AC and DC systems. Yeah. We're done. That that uh, that it it will not have any kind of problem at handling 40,000 amps of surge current. Now, when UL and ETL do their testing, of, of and there we go. Wow, I saw it move on the camera. You'll yeah. notice in this other video that in that 60-second interval between surges, the LED was still on. So your unit is still operating. It's still it's still operating. That's why we put the LEDs there. If, if the LED is ever off. That means the fuse has blown and uh, the SPD is no longer functioning. The good thing is they're repairable. Well, knowing that inverters and charge controllers are, are safe up to 2,500 volts or so, because mm -hmm. they, they get tested. Every inverter and charge controller that's UL listed or ETL listed does get tested at the factory to about 2,000 volts DC. They have to pass this test. So as long as we can keep the clamping voltage below that level, your units are going to be safe. Of course, the lower the clamping voltage, the safer they are. 
So, Leonard, what did it turn out to clamp at? About 2700. It was the current. And, Twenty seven hundred amps. So it was close to the three thousand. About nine hundred and ten volts. Nine hundred and ten volts. Still a very safe level for protecting equipment. That's the highest peak too, so yeah. really it's this is the uh three hundred volt SPD. It actually starts conducting current at about three hundred and eighty five or four hundred volts as I remember. And the higher the current, the higher that clamping voltage will go to. Uh, in this case, with 3,000 amps, which is a pretty high, high surge, too. It went up to uh, 910 volts. Let's go ahead and throw one of those gray Dealey Bobs on there. This unit has no, no clamping mechanism. It's just a spark gap. So it's going to jump from here to there. That's your ground. Or from here to here, whichever one we have connected up. And uh, there's no current limit. It's just going to take that voltage and dump it right to ground, and we'll see what happens. Whoa! Whoa. And Holy you have to cow! Oh. That was pretty impressive. Yeah. How high did the voltage go? It wasn't 1,300 volts, was it? 5,500. And obviously, you've got catastrophic failure on the first surge. Yeah, the Top seconds. blown out of it and sand pouring out in the so sand. We're, here we have the gray cylindrical unit. We're going back to um, the combination wave um, with a pre-discharge voltage setting of 7.7 .7 kV, which should give us approximately 3,000 amps, assuming that, that, uh, that it sparks over. And that's what we would expect. 7,700 volts? So about 7,200 volts. 7,200. So instead of clamping it to 240 volts like their spec sheet claims, it was off by a factor of, what, 20 or 30? Uh, 7,700, 7,200 volts instead of 240. That didn't protect much. The test down at World Products turned out awesome. It was very conclusive. So why don't we tear into it and show you what it's actually made up of. Here at Midnight Solar, they make a lightning and arrest that you can actually look at and say, I trust it. Yeah. So let's, let's go, go downstairs. Here at Midnight Solar, we have three different voltages in our lightning arresters. We have the 115, and the 300, and the 600 volt. If you notice this Midnight 300 volt lightning arrester, you'll see eight high intensity fused mobs, each rated at 18,000 amps. These mobs are used to protect your circuits against excessive surge voltages and when triggered they'll redirect the current created by the high voltage away from your sensitive components. In other words, these lightning arresters are very sensitive. They'll protect your systems from harmful surge voltage. Well, I think we've proven our point. We've done all these tests and we're the best. We took it to a lab down in California and put it through the extremes. You have the proof right there. Midnight Solar has the highest quality product on the market. This is going to protect your system. This is going to protect your components at home. I have a nice stereo and I don't want to lose it. So if you get one chance, one chance, you want to do it right. I'm John. And I'm Joanne. And look for more episodes at Midnight Solar's Power Company. decided to ask our president of Midnight Solar here if he wouldn't mind going down to California. He has a name. Oh. We have, we've had all kinds of fun trying testing our light. <laughs> Midnight Solar, Robin Gudgel. Down to California, there's a laboratory down there. It's called World Products Testing, and they did the something I can't remember. <laughs> and I went so far. <laughs>